My name is Vinny David and today we will talk about NSI that is needle stick injury. What is NSI? Needle stick injury. These are the wound caused by the needle or any sharp that accidentally puncture the skin. Now we will discuss about who is more at risk of NSI that is needle stick injury. It has been seen that mainly healthcare personals are more at risk because they are directly related to patients and directly provide care to the patients like doctors, nurses, technicians and housekeeping staffs. So when it occurs, needle stick injury, when it occurs, it occurs mostly during recapping and we have to stop the recapping practice and avoid such incidences in future that may lead to NSI. During disposable of needle, it has been observed when we discard the needle or we put the needle in any of the area then it may lead to injury to the other staff also. During the collection of blood, when we collect the patient's blood, it has been found that due to our negligence and carelessness that injury may lead to staff and to the patient also. During the insertion of fistula needle, when we put the needle to the patient and if we are not doing it carefully, the needle stick injury can be happened to the staff as well as to the patient. And last, during BMW handling, it has been observed that when we discard BMW that is biomedical waste management, we have to follow the guidelines of disposing safely of sharps in a white container. If we don't do that, that it may lead to serious injury and may lead to needle stick injury to the healthcare workers. So we have to focus on all the points and we have to work carefully to avoid such incidences because prevention is better than cure. Now comes what are the risk of infections from we get from needle stick injury. Blood borne diseases like HIV, Hepatitis C and Hepatitis B and staff are mostly likely to get all three diseases. And the chances are HIV 0.3%, Hepatitis C 3% and Hepatitis B 30%. So then staff may have to work carefully to avoid these blood borne diseases. Now we will discuss about the management of needle stick injury. What we have to do on and what we don't have to do. Any do's and don'ts. Firstly, you do not have to panic. What we, you have to do is wash your wound under the running water for 10 to 15 minutes. Do not press and do not squeeze the wound to bleed it out because that may lead to the breakdown of the tissues near, near the wound. Do not put or apply any antiseptic solutions like betadine or chlorhexidine. Cover the area and inform to senior person or DMO. Start with the post-exposure prophylaxis and viral marker status. Lastly, follow will be done and you have to fill the incident reporting form with RCA Kappa and inform to the clinical department. If you have any query or any question, you may contact to the clinical department that are always present for you. Thank you.